Hey Deborah, it's Juanita and thanks for your question. A couple of things you're going to need in order to use your Facebook badge in Outlook. Uh, one thing is Jing. You'll need Jing. Go to jingproject.com and I just came to the site and you want to go ahead and download it. It's free and you're going to do that. So after that happens, let's go ahead and run it. And I'll be back. Okay, once you load Gene Project, you're going to see a little sun here at the top. It gives you three options. There's more, history, and the one we want, which is the capture option. It looks like a little plus sign. So let's go ahead and make sure we remember that's the one we want. Before we activate it, however, we want to go ahead and do a preview of the badge. Hover over it so that allows us to know that we can enlarge it. There we go. There's our badge. Go up to Gene Project. Click on the Capture option. And use just a click and drag operation. So we'll come up a little bit right there. Click and drag until we get inside of the box and get the badge that we want for our outlook okay so now that you do you have that you want to click on the capture an image button and we'll go ahead and do that because that's what you want to share so you'll click on that and voila you now have a nice little cool image let's give that a name let's call this facebook badge Okay, and now you've got a couple options um, down here. You can share via screencast, you can save it, you can copy it. Um, this is actually the tool that I have. It costs money. You can sample it free, but it is a cost associated with it. Or if you think you messed up, messed up the lines, you can always cancel. So I just kind of want to show you that. You can also customize your Jing buttons. But now you actually can get this copied on your clipboard. And of course, the choices are up to you. Oh, let me show you something else. You've got some other options here. You can actually put an arrow on the screen. You can put text on the screen. You can frame it if you like to do that. You can make uh, highlighting. And you can also have a color tool available to you. But this is actually the object I would recommend you doing a couple of things when you do screencast. Share via screencast will allow you to upload your image to screencast.com and it will copy a link to your clipboard, which in, there, in which case you can paste and um, if you want to if I were you actually I just copy it and so now you can paste it wherever you want to paste it okay hope that helps